When simulating space on Earth, filmmakers visit deserts, they build giant sets, they use green screens, but space agencies? Space agencies went and made themselves a manual. Hey Space Nerds, Trace here with your weekly D-News Space Update. Space is a cold, desolate, lonely place, kind of like Antarctica, or maybe the Badlands. And now we know exactly how much space is like those places, thanks to this fantastic document from the Planetary and Space Science Research Institute at the Open University in the UK. The Catalog of Planetary Analogs, or CPA, is sort of like a field guide for space nerds. If you ever need to test a moon rover or a spacesuit, how do you do it without actually going to space? Well, you pull out your CPA. It even provides coordinates, so if you want to follow along in your Maps app, you can do that. This guide is amazingly helpful for testing space equipment. No joke, space is a harsh place to raise your probes. You don't just want to toss something out there without some significant research and rigorous testing. Circuit boards on satellites are made with bulletproof Kevlar to make sure that they aren't punctured by micrometeors. That's how rough it is out there. So let's check where on Earth it's most like Mars. According to the catalog of planetary analogs, you'd want to visit Antarctic's dry valleys. They're the most Mars-like environment on Earth. Why? Because they have impact features like craters and volcanic landscapes, as well as fluvial features, which are river valleys like lake beds and stuff, aeolian processes, it means it's real windy there, ice-related geomorphology, and subsurface water deposits. Boom. Plus, it's pretty cold on Mars. The average temperature is a minus 80 degrees Fahrenheit. In Antarctica, it gets that cold in the winter on average, so let's go. Anthony loves him some Iceland. He visited earlier this year, and I don't know if you noticed, but he came back with that awesome uh, beard. According to the CPA, Iceland is, quote, a fantastic playground for planetary surface activities and a natural laboratory for either Mars or the moon. Sounds lovely. If you designed a probe, for example, like MSL Curiosity, that was supposed to explore the ancient riverbeds on Mars, Iceland has similar aqueous alteration effects, volcanic activity, and a vibrant handball circuit for enjoying your downtime. Bored with Mars? How about the moon? The Mistaston Lake Crater in Canada is not just good, it is an exceptional lunar analog site, according to the CPA. It's comparable to many of the impact craters on the moon, and not just for impact processes in general, but the ash follows a similar pattern surrounding the craters. It's called the ejecta blanket. So next time you're thinking of taking one of the nerdiest, roughest vacations of your geek life, grab your catalog of planetary analogs and call your travel agent. Who has a travel agent? Like open an app or something, check Craigslist, I don't know. Go pretend you're on the moon. Or you know, you could just check out the spots on Google Earth. <laughs> Staycation, armchair backpacking. By Goddard, is this not the coolest thing you have ever laid your space loving hands on? Tell us your freakouts in the comments and be sure you subscribe for more D news and our weekly space updates.